today I'm going to show you how to make these fun little bird nest cookies. Um, I'm using them as toppers for our cupcakes. But they work well as cookies or um, they are great to decorate cupcakes or a, a cake or anything like that. So um, yeah, this is what they look like. I think they're great to make for springtime. Um, I'm doing them for Chase's birthday party since we're doing kind of like a forest animal theme. I thought it would be great to put on some of the cupcakes and some of the other ones we're gonna put trees on. And yeah, so this is what they look like. They're still cooling, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the steps. For this recipe, you will need one cookie sheet, some parchment paper, butter. Um, the recipe I'm following calls for um, vanilla extract. I'm gonna use almond instead because I'm putting these on almond cupcakes. Some sort of miniature candy. Um, you can do robin eggs, you can do jelly beans, um, just any type of small candy that looks like an egg. Um, you could also get some peeps. That would be really cute to put on the nest. I'm just going to keep it simple and just do eggs. Um, some marshmallows and chow mein noodles. You can find this um, in the Asian section of your grocery store. Um, and the recipe I'm following calls for four cups of the chow mein noodles, um, three tablespoons of the butter, half a teaspoon of vanilla or whatever kind of extract you're using, and three cups of mini marshmallows, and then obviously the, the eggs, you, you know, put how many you want in the nest, however many fit in there. So that's what you need to get started. Um, the first step we're going to go ahead and do is, um, Go ahead and line the cookie sheet with um, parchment paper. Okay, so what you want to do is, in a saucepan over low heat, add the three cups of marshmallows and the three tablespoons of butter and melt it. Um, I don't know why I put it in such a small pot. Don't do this because you're going to have to add the chow mein noodles. So I'm going to have to end up switching this to a bigger pot. So make sure the pot is big enough to fit everything in it. So yep, that's what we're doing, just melting everything down. Okay, so I've switched it to a more appropriate size pot. And you can see that it's pretty much melted down and I'm just blending it a little bit more. You want it to be melted so um, you know all the marshmallows are no longer in in clumps and it's pretty much there there's a few spots still I'm just kind of waiting to melt down but once it's smooth go ahead and add in your vanilla or in our case we're doing almond extract um, and you want to add half a teaspoon okay so everything is melted down and we went ahead and I've added the, the almond extract and everything's blended in there nicely. And next you wanna go ahead and add in the chow mein noodles. Four cups of chow mein noodles have been added and I'm gonna go ahead and blend them together. Okay, so you wanna coat your hands in either butter or shortening or something. Um, and take a ball and form it into a nest. They're really sticky. And then just lie it <clears throat> on your parchment paper. Since I'm putting them on some cupcakes, it's a little large. Trying to make sure the size is right. So, kind of helps to think of like forming it into a ball like shape. And then pushing your thumb down, 
but it's super, super sticky. <laughs> um, but I think they're going to be really cute. Is that yummy? Is that yummy? You like your snack? So what's kind of also helping me is <clears throat> just trying to make it into a cup, just cupping my hand like this and pushing down. Now you could also, if you don't want to put them on the cookie sheets, um, if you line a muffin tin with parchment paper, you can just press them down into the muffin tin. And that's another way you could make them. I'm just um, doing it like this because my I'm making cupcakes, so I don't have the muffin tin. But this this works just as well. So I'm having a a taste test. I bought the Cadbury mini eggs as well as the Robin eggs by Whoppers. And. As far as taste goes, I like the Cadbury ones better, which are these ones. See inside it's all chocolate. But these ones look nicer, I think. These kind of are like chalky looking. And these are shiny. But these ones, when you eat them, they're like... Oh. See, they're like the Whoppers, which are good, whatever, but I think these ones taste better. I thought these ones look better, so I'm going to stick these ones in the nests. Um, but yeah, you can use, like I said earlier, jelly beans, these eggs. You could also do like M&Ms, um, just any type of small candy that could resemble an egg. So I have these over here, all formed. I made sure I had enough for um, every cupcake to go on top of every cupcake. They're cooling. I'm going to go ahead and put some eggs in them. So what you want to do now is add your eggs before these are fully cool because um, <clears throat> because they're still pliable. So I can add them to the nest and then just kind of form the nest around my eggs since each nest is going to have a unique shape. And they are turning out really cute. I was worried some of them, you know, are bigger than others. Um, but that's okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think I'm going to have to, I'm trying to do one, like, three different colors. I think I'm going to have to add this as, like, a spring treat we make every now and then. Um, but they're perfect if you're doing... Um, like for my son's birthday party, we're doing um, a woodland animal, forest animal theme. So I thought it would be fun to make little bird's nests for some of the cupcakes. And some of the other cupcakes are going to have trees on them. But um, yeah, it's very easy. It's very, it's like pretty much like how you would make um, Rice Krispie treats, except for with chow mein noodles. And put little candies in there. Now, if you want, you can, um, you know, be creative with it. Um, instead of butter, you could do peanut butter. Um, you could add chocolate chips. And I saw some pictures, and they looked really cool with chocolate chips. They would stain, well, it changed the, um, the twigs. So they would be brown, obviously, because of the chocolate. Um, which I think looks fun and it probably tastes really good. I want them, I wanted them to just be kind of, you know, plain and looking like straw since I'm doing just a basic almond cupcake that these are going on top of. I didn't want it to be like a chocolate nest. But, and I think this looks more like an actual nest too by doing it this color, but it sounds good if you make them with chocolate or peanut butter. Um, just any type of any type of um, chip, I mean, you could do butterscotch. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> so have fun with it. It's a really easy, um, fun thing to do with the kids, too. Chase isn't old enough to help me, but 
This would be fun with little ones to help them help you make these little birds nests for springtime. Um, you can eat them as is, just as a kind of like a cookie, I guess. But they make for great toppers for a cake, or in our case, cupcakes. But of course, they're good just like this too. Just eat it like a cookie.